Being albino in Africa means living a difficult life. Looking different from one's community and from one's parents can be dangerous. One in 20,000 people worldwide are born with albinism. In Africa, albinism occurs at a rate as high as one in 5,000 in some regions. During the consultation, we repeated time and time again. Very basic explanation and mainly prevention. If they don't use protective clothing and, and sunscreen lotion, they have a life expectancy of only 30 years because they will die of skin cancer. I have seen teenagers who have never used sunscreen lotion all of their life. I have four kids and only one is albino. Sometimes my kids spend like uh, one week not to see me. Sometimes I just talk them on the phone. My albino just crying on the phone. I wake up in the morning, I don't see you. I am just ready to go to bed and I don't see you, you know. Where are you? What are you doing, you know? Sometimes it's difficult on me, you know. Baby, baby. Huh? I'm not enough more. For people with albinism, having a wife is very difficult. They don't want to get married each other because they are scared to have albino. They don't want to have a child who will suffer. I pray, but sometimes I'm absent. I'm just thinking and I'm lost. So many people are just in their mind that one day I hope to see Bamba with Anas and, you know, tell him my story. Mama, I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to do it. I am not going to be able to so many people will live like that. So many people will die on that way. Without any help, without any power, and you can't do anything. It's not easy. It's not easy. I just get a call from uh, my sister who was working at the hospital and uh, she just tell me that my wife uh, has a baby, a second albino and a boy. And I'm really very excited about that, you know, because that was my hope and my wish. Issa Diop was born on December 12, 2012. He's named after Bamba's father. 